Microsoft has announced they're bringing AI upscaling to the ROG Xbox Ally and Ally X in 2026. And here's the crazy part. Your handheld device already has the chip sitting inside of it. It's just been doing absolutely nothing. So while everyone's been hyping DLSS and FSR, Microsoft's about to flip the script with a feature that works on every single game without developers lifting a finger. Your ROG Xbox Ally X in 2026 is about to become more powerful than ever before. And we really are entering a new era in gaming, the NPU era. Let's discuss. So here's the latest article in a long line of articles that we've got about Windows 11 and AI upscaling and the ROG Xbox Ally X in 2026. So if you remember, this is the Auto SR. So Microsoft's Auto SR is an AI powered upscaler. This is from tweaktown.com for PC gaming that runs at the OS level like a post processing effect and is coming to the ROG Xbox Ally and Ally X. And I thought, let's take a moment to go over it because there's a lot here. I had to do a ton of research uh, about a month ago on this, what is an NPU? Why is this a big deal? Why is it a big deal if you're an ROG Xbox Ally X holder and why this makes the handheld, your handheld, even more powerful. It's already one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful handheld on the market today. It's about to become even more powerful. So the ROG Ally and Ally X, the Xbox ones, ships with the AMD Z2 Extreme chip and it includes an NPU that's been dormant. What is an NPU? You hear this bandied about forever. The NPU is a separate chip. Think of it as a dedicated AI processor. So your GPU renders the game. Your NPU make it looks better, makes it look better with AI. And because they're working separately, you get better performance and better visuals without one stealing power from the other. That's why the NPU chip is in there separately. Every DirectX game in your Ally X library is going to get AI upscaling automatically. This is system level integration. So the difference between DLSS and, uh, and FSR is those have to be done on the developer level. This is gonna to apply to every game automatically. That's what makes it so powerful. Your Ally X already has the NPU in it. It's just not been on. It's not been switched on yet. You're finally gonna get your money's worth. This is that thousand dollars that you paid for for your Ally X. It's coming to fruition. And what's, what's best about it is it's a firmware update. There's no game updates needed. Your backlog of 200 games that you already have installed that you've been playing, they will instantly benefit as soon as this is switched on. Crazy, right? So how many, how many of you, I wanna know, because I didn't know this till I really started to do a deep dive. How many of you even knew your Ally X had an NPU inside of it, your, your Xbox Ally X? Drop a comment, let me know. Did you know, did you not know? I'm, cur I'm curious how many people were like me and were like, whoa. I mean, I heard about NPU. I just thought it was marketing gimmicky. I didn't realize it was actual hardware. No, it's actual hardware that's in there. Insane. I would love to know how many people. Let me know in the comments below. So what problem does this solve? Well, you can imagine immediately uh, your 1080p screen is going to be able to now output if you hook up to your TV, etc. even better. So the Ally X's 1080p screen is, is really nice. I think it's good enough. I don't think you need OLED. Uh, the Nintendo Switch went away, the Nintendo Switch 2 went away from OLED, uh, and I don't think you need it. GPUs struggle already with native resolution just at 1080p. Just keep it at 1080p, I think that's good. So right now you're really choosing between blurry FSR 1.0 upscaling, or you have to use your frames uh, slider, right? So you got to be 30 frames per second and uh, or 60 frames at 720. And then AI is upscaling that 720 to 1080 just to make your GPU because it's all handled on your GPU. Well, with the NPU, you're going to be able to get smooth 60 frames per second and you're not going to have to sacrifice anything. Your battery life is going to jump as well. Uh, potentially, they're saying one and a half to two hours on demanding games. That's right. You're going to get one to two hours more with better visuals on demanding games. The The benefit here is huge. And imagine this, we buy a thing and it gets better over time. Who knew? Who knew? That's how you create good products. So you're going to get less heat. You're going to get more comfortable long gaming sessions. You're going to be able to play for longer on a longer battery life, all with better uh, upgrades. So what, is this, what does this matter for the Ally X versus the Steam Deck? I think this is huge. This is the real competition I think han happening behind the scenes here. Steam Deck runs SteamOS and SteamOS is becoming more and more popular. I think this is the real competition. It's, it's optimized, but it's limited to the Steam library. The Ally X, your Xbox Ally X runs Windows. It plays everything, but it's not optimized. Not in the same way that SteamOS is there. This Auto SR, it's auto, uh, the auto SR that's coming via the NPU gives the Ally X the performance advantage and it gives it the specs it's prom it promised all along and it will 
destroy the Steam Deck. Honestly, I, the ROG Xbox Ally X already does. Granted, Steam did announce their upgraded Steam OS, and that's probably the real competition here. It makes that $1,000 price point feel even more justified. If you've been sitting on the fence for even the Ally X or just the Ally, the white one, this tips the scales. This makes it the most valuable entry, especially that $499 price point, because it's going to blow out of the water uh, the Steam Deck and the Steam Deck performance because it's built into it here. So the 2026 timeline, I think, is it, do we know a date on that? Let's see, in the article, I don't think we are set. It just says early 2026 is this is coming. Uh, yeah, there's no solid date yet on this. So just early 2026, but that's a game changer for, for everybody. I think that Valve can't, uh, Valve is the competition. The Steam Deck is the competition. And this is going to be a huge advantage for the ROG Xbox Ally X, in my opinion. Um, better battery life, better graphics, better GPU, all being handled on that that NPU. Uh, I think well, I think the ROG Xbox Ally X is considered the top handheld at the moment, with the new Steam Deck announced and coming down the pipe at a higher price point with their optimized OS there that's becoming increasingly popular. Let's be honest. I think. This update is going to keep, uh, in fact, in this image, they're trying to show it. Let's see, can we zoom in on this image? Um, so they're they're trying to show native 720 and then auto SR and show how it upgrades there. Uh, that's not a great image of it. Once once it drops, I'm sure we'll have all kinds of examples for it. And in fact, we'll, we'll have some examples probably on this channel about it. But I think Xbox was correct in not going mid tier. I think they were correct in dropping this handheld at a premium price point to have these premium features, to have the NPU in there, to be able to deliver that auto SR that really, really finally will deliver on the Xbox Ally and Ally X full potential without a penalty. You're, it's, it's all good here for us. This video is sponsored by something that I actually helped build, and I'm really excited to share it with you guys because I hit that wall myself, and it's called the reset. There was a point where I realized that something was off in my life. I work from home, I play games, I make content, but I still feel and felt completely alone, surrounded by screens, but nobody's actually there. I don't interact with anybody. So I worked with a licensed therapist to figure out how to break that loop. I implemented those steps, I tested them, and from it came the reset toolkit. It's a free one page guide that helps you get unstuck when life starts to lag. Grab it for free right now at theresetgg.com. That's theresetgg.com or hit the link below. Sign up for the newsletter because when life lags, sometimes we need to hit reset. I feel I feel I'm actually trying I'm trying to think through here why this would be bad unless unless there's hiccups, maybe the technology there's going to be hiccups with it. I don't know. But if it works as advertised, I think this makes the Ally X number one. I, I, I do think it's going to take the crown from Steam Deck. I play it every single day. I love it. I live it. Love it. Laugh. Live, laugh, love. <laughs> I do that with my ROG Xbox Ally X. I want to know what you guys think, though. Are you excited for 2026? I've never been more excited for PC handheld gaming. I've never been ex more excited for the Xbox gaming. This is Xbox. It's Xbox and PC gaming. It's it's all one now. I've never been more excited. Uh, we did just see charts that the consoles, both PlayStation and Xbox console sales, are down from uh, previous previous holidays, uh, and that's to be expected. This is the future. We're moving on. You've got to get your device. You've got to get your operating system. You've got to get your ecosystem in front of more people and that's going to be through cloud it's going to be through moves like this with pc handheld devices and it's going to be unifying all those systems under one that that's just the reality that's where we're at and i could not be more excited would love to know what you guys think what did i get wrong for all the nerds out there what did i get right what did i get wrong what do i need to clarify here i think the npu here's the other thing npu is using ai to do this right so for everybody that's like i hate ai no this is a way that ai it's gonna be able to do it in real time uh, frame generation and texture enhancement here in real time on your device on your handheld locally I think that sets a big precedent and I think it's huge and I could not be more excited for the future again I'm X1 the gamer don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to this channel we do videos like this all the time right here have a great rest of your day guys and we'll see you next time bye bye bye